You're this perp back with another video, and I want to apologize ahead of time if my audio sounds kind of weird. I'm in a different location at the moment, um, but I wanted to kind of make a follow up video of my uh, overview or review of the HBO Max app that just launched. If you haven't gone and seen that uh, video, click this link right here. But this video is pretty much going to be a straightforward top 10 movies you could watch right now. I know they're going to add stuff over time, but these are some of my recommendations. Um, this goes by like it could be franchises or whatever. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into this video. Follow me on Twitter at PerpMinded420. With so starting with a classic at number 10, I got to set it off with Jada Pickett Smith. Uh, Queen Latifah, Fifika A. Fox. You know, this is a star studded cast at the moment. You know, these ladies fucking killed it. They made a classic that people will always remember. If you haven't checked this out, I don't know what you're doing. Definitely hop on the app and check out this movie. At number nine, I got Alita Battle Angel. You know, this was a big movie to come out what was it last year you know got a big movement behind it um comes from that anime space so you know if you haven't checked this out this is a dope movie and help support this movie because this movie shows you that anime adaptations can be done in live action so i definitely recommend you go check this out Next, number eight, American Pie, the American Pie trilogy. You know, they got American Pie one, two, and three. Kind of went overboard with the spinoffs and whatnot, but I still think that this is worth checking out if you haven't. I think it's a very unappreciated uh, comedy franchise, one of the best uh, out there, most definitely. So I definitely highly recommend you checking out American Pie, all three movies. Um, number seven, Indian in the Cupboard. This is another classic. These are a lot of classics on HBO Max. If you haven't seen Indian in the Cupboard, it is a fun time. Your kids will love this movie. Um, that's another thing about HBO. They have a lot of things on here that kids could watch. You know, this was a fantastic movie when I was growing up. Still holds up. Makes me laugh. Um, maybe we could do a watch along uh, in the future, who knows? Number six, I got Bridge to Terabithia, another classic to me uh, that came out in the mid 2000s. Uh, I think 2005. You know, um, very. I'm very curious to see how this made it on here, not Disney Plus. But you know, this is a classic. You know, just the effects are kind of eh, but you know the story and everything and the characters are amazing definitely highly recommend you check that out number five the studio ghibli movies you know this is uh untapped territory for me i haven't checked out any of these movies so it's going to be interesting to dive in to these movies i'll definitely have reviews coming very very soon in the near future um don't know which one i'm going to start with but we'll see how that goes i'm very looking forward to watching that um number five we got cb4 now this has always been played on hbo on television you know a lot of people still have never seen this movie you know if you're a hip-hop head you will love this movie this literally is a mockumentary of how rappers are today how they just put on this facade and man chris rock fucking did his thing in this movie it was incredible classic timeless hilarious movie rp to charlie murphy but next we got at number three lord of the flies yet again another classic hbo coming with that fire you know this is definitely not a kid uh, a kid's movie by any stretch of the word you know you got kids getting murdered man if you haven't seen this classic i don't know what you're doing um definitely go check out lord of flies that's my number three pick but number two i just wanted to throw this in there for shits and giggles but this is d2 
Mighty Ducks 2, which is funny because all three Mighty Ducks movies are on HBO Max as well as Disney Plus. But now that this is on HBO Max, I really don't need Disney Plus. Now, this could be a time thing. Who knows? Uh, I just find it funny that this ended up on HBO Max. But anyways, let's get to the number one movie you should watch or franchise is the Harry Potter movies. They have eight, all, all eight films. I was not expecting this because there was rumors that this wasn't going to make it on HBO Max until like five years down the line. Thank God that they put all eight films on here because I'm going to binge watch all eight now, like multiple, multiple times now. It's just amazing. But yeah, man, that's my top 10 list. Of the movies you can go watch right now, franchises, just uh, singular movies, whatever. Definitely go check those out. Um, let me know what y'all would want uh, to see on this channel. Would you all want to, you know, partake in some watch alongs? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. I'll make a poll sometime in the future, in the very near future. Um, are there any uh, movies that I missed on here that you recommend? Or have you seen any of these movies on my list? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts and feelings. Um, Till next time, I will definitely have my top 10 TV shows coming up very shortly after this video uploads. And I'll have uh, the Looney Tunes cartoon review up later on today as well till next time i will see y'all later yep this little perp was good what's happening people i'm just tapping in to let y'all know that the perp show will be going down wednesday night 11 p.m eastern standard time i will be having a special guest the black guru so definitely pull up you don't want to miss out on this show it's definitely going to be interesting like who else do you know is going to be talking about attack on titan and cobra kai in the same stream come on man pull up